God and welcome dear brothers and sisters to day 42 of our series day by day through Lent. Today we are meditating on the Gospel of St. John chapter 13 verse 38. Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. So much was happening at the Last Supper, dear brothers and sisters. And St. John again gives us some details that seem to take us back in time, 2,000 years ago. And with the Holy Spirit guiding us, as we study the word, may we hear the Lord speak to us, to every one of us, through all the events that he wants us to enter into as we meditate on the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus here is prophesying that Peter will deny him three times before the cock crows twice. Knowing Peter from the very beginning, we see that he did have some issues to deal with. He was hasty, impulsive, proud and fearful to name a few of his weaknesses. And studying his character makes this really obvious. But he wore many masks and put up a brave front as he was appointed the leader of the twelve and did not deal with the weaknesses he had. But what happens when we have so many areas which can become pitfalls, especially when in leadership positions? They become entry points for the devil to gain a foothold over our lives. This is why Jesus warned Peter in Luke chapter 22, verses 31 and 32, saying, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he might sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that when that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. But Peter protested that he will remain faithful no matter what. Again, as the scriptures tell us in the book of Proverbs, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. A haughty spirit was able to gain entry into Peter's life and tempted him and he fell as he denied Jesus three times as prophet prophesied by Jesus. It was not only pride, there was also fear as he was seeing Jesus being arrested and he definitely was not prepared to lay down his life for Jesus as he had just boasted. And he did not deny Jesus when questioned by some high official or a person in authority, but a young maid servant and just by some bystanders. And again, St. Luke adds in chapter 22, verse 61, that the moment he denied Jesus, the Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word that the Lord had spoken to him before the rooster crows today, you will disown me three times. Let's just ima imagine what those loving eyes would have said to Peter. Surely there was no condemnation, no accusation and no pointing of the finger. I believe Peter saw only mercy and love and this caused him to go out and weep bitterly. Sweet tears of repentance. He knew he had let Jesus down, but surely he remembered the Lord's assurance that he had already prayed for him and he decided to depend on Jesus' prayer for him and not focus on his failure, but to go and strengthen his brothers. And this he did faithfully, especially after he was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost and never turned back, even following Jesus to his own crucifixion. What does the Holy Spirit want to teach us through this incident, dear brothers and sisters? I believe we can learn many lessons if we are open to the Holy Spirit. Sin is an open door to the enemy, gaining access into our lives. 
and he is the thief who comes to steal, kill and destroy. So we must resist the devil and he will flee by closing every door of sin and plugging areas of weakness. So it is important for us to always be sensitive to the Holy Spirit who convicts us of sin and repent immediately and return to the Lord. We must learn to rely continually on the grace of God to keep us safe and protect us in times of temptation for he is praying for us. For left to ourselves, we will stumble and fall. Pride truly goes before destruction. Jesus has already prayed for us and we can be confident that he will lift us up when we cry to him and he will equip us to strengthen others. Peter was so humbled by this experience that he was able to write in 1 Peter 5 verse 5, All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another because God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. As we reflect on the denial of Peter, we must also remember how faithful he was when he repented and returned to the Lord. And this is possible only when we yield to the Holy Spirit, as Peter did. Let us continually depend on the Holy Spirit to teach us to be humble and to rely on him. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you for through your word, you continually challenge us that we too have denied Jesus so many times. Today we repent, we return to you with all our hearts and we ask that we can, that we always remember that Jesus is the one who's praying for us and that the Holy Spirit is more than able to lift us up and strengthen us in our weakness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.